afternoon. Welcome to my Thursday Mindset Weekly Show. How's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? Um, today we are going to look at how to bust through overwhelm so that we can actually get back to living a life of kind of clarity and balance. So that's what we're going to look at today. Drop me a hey if you are here live. Say hey, pop them in the comments and um, let's see who's here. I can't see any comments coming through at the moment. Um, so I don't know whether I've got a new phone. <laughs> so I um, I don't know whether they're actually gonna come up or not. So if they don't and I can't see them um, through this, I'll have a look at the end. I always answer all of my comments as we go through. So, um, okay, we'll crack on with it. I'm, um, yeah, if you're here live, drop a hey. Ah, oh, hey Chantel, <laughs> lovely to see you. Hey, yay, so the comments are coming up and I've got a little picture this time. So on the new phone, I get a little picture of you, which is wonderful. Um, and if you're catching it up on replay later, just do a hashtag replay so I can um, see who's here um, and who's popping in and saying hello. So I've had it, I'm coming back from a couple of days away and it's done me the world of good. Um, we, we went to Dartmouth and uh, yeah, you know, we, I think we must have just picked the best, the best weekend ever for weather because we've just had the, the most amazing few days um, weather-wise and location. It was just stunning. So I'm totally refreshed now. Um, so although it's a little bit grey outside, I'm feeling really great today and I hope you all are too. Hey Terry, lovely to see you. Yeah, thank you Chantal. Yeah, can you believe it? Just a couple of days and we come back with a, a full on suntan and everyone is saying you look like you were, you'd were you been abroad. So see, you don't need to. In this country, we've got some great places, haven't we? So Hey Terry, lovely to see you. So nice to see you here. So yeah, I'm feeling quite quite tanned and quite refreshed and it's just it's just great at the great, isn't it? Great great to just get away and have some time away. So and do some normal stuff like, you know, we went out to restaurants and went to the beach, um all socially distancing and all of that. So hey Caroline, lovely to see you my lovely. How are you doing? Great to see you. So, okay, so what I'm going to look at today is overwhelm because for me, it's one of the biggest complaints um, that I hear from women in business or, or from, you know, even if you're not in business, I think it's one of the biggest challenges that I feel that people are faced with right now. And it can really keep you stuck and um, you know your, your whole your life can be out of kilter completely if you know you've got this overwhelm and I'm not just talking about just feeling a little bit stressed or just got a few too many things on your plate you know this is literally when um, you know it's like a, a, an emotional paralysis type thing this is where you are completely taken over by um, your thoughts and emotions and you're you're basically then you've got so much going on your you know your mind's racing you've got too many thoughts going on that you literally feel as if you can't cope with a situation and you feel really confused and it kind of leaves you feeling a bit out of control um, often with this it's where you you actually feel physically sick and you're anxious and because you're not actually kind of completing things, you're not getting things off your list, the list never seems to disappear, if you like, you're often left feeling a bit unfulfilled as well. So if you kind of hear yourself saying things like, I'm never going to get this done, uh, you know, my mind's racing, it's full of ideas, I can't fit this all in, um, it all feels too much, then you are possibly feeling overwhelmed right now. And you know, you'd, sometimes you just don't know where to turn from it. And um, even just, you know, your daily tasks just are just too difficult to, to kind of manage. So the, the problem with this, it means that you are really distracted. Um, you're, you know, you've got too many choices going on. Um, and it really is quite disempowering. You know, it's a real exhausting way to live. Um, you can often feel quite, you know, full of self-doubt and you feel quite helpless. So let me know in the comments if any of those things are something that you actually 
feel right now, you know, or or if you have done or, you know, just let me know in the comments if those are the things that you can actually, you know, you often hear yourself saying to yourself and that you often feel overwhelmed. Hi, Simone, lovely to see you. Um, just, you know, just pop a note in the comments if they are anything that you often experience. And it's, it's down to a lack of clarity. It's down to a lack of ca ca um, clarity. Um, and kind of that feeling, I suppose, that feeling of, um, or it's rather of having that feeling of it rather than the actual, hey, Simone, lovely to see you. Um, so it's often there that you, you know, rather than the actual stuff that's going on in your life, it's your feelings about it. So you can get a little bit stuck in the actual feelings of feeling overwhelmed as well, rather than, you know, if you broke it down, what, what specifically are, you know, have you got going on? Um, so you need to ma need to think about how you kind of manage your energy, manage your time, because it is down to a you know a lack of um, a lack of clarity, uh, and it actually requires a completely different perspective, total different uh, a, you know a, a different perspective. So let me know what you know what you think are kind of the reasons that you might feel overwhelmed at the moment. I've got kind of my five typical reasons that I see happening where people are feeling um, overwhelmed. So Chantal definitely have lots of ideas and unclear which, what, you know, which to start with. And that's the thing, you know, because we, we then end up, you might be the same, that we end up still adding more and more to that list. And it gets even more to the point there that we really just don't know where to start. You know, the, the bottom line is, um, if you, hey Anita, oh thanks, uh, yeah I did, I had an absolutely lovely break, thank you. And Terry, you do feel like it sometimes, you get distracted and then you think you're quite undisciplined. And yeah, and then what we're actually doing is we're actually berating ourselves a little bit for it. Um, when actually we just need to, you know, have some strategies in place to deal with it. Because overwhelm is literally when everything just gets on top of us. Um, and, and that's where, like Chantal says, there you just don't know where to start. Now, there are a few typical reasons that people feel overwhelmed. And the first one is not having a plan to follow. You know, it's, it's a bit like, you know, you would never start off on a journey without having a plan of how to get there. You know, without a plan, you've just, there's little direction. And when there's little direction, that's when you can get swept off course. Um, you know, and that's where you can then get distracted and, you know, feeling um, like this undisciplined. So the first thing is to know that, do you know what you want clearly? You know, have you set those specific goals? Another reason that I see and it's a, one that I, I think I've said it before, it's one that I have to still work on and I have to put in strategies for. And that's when you're trying to do everything perfectly. You're literally setting these impossible standards um, and expectations to meet. And that really can build up that anxiety and the stress and, and lead to more overwhelm when you're like that. So have a think about, do you kind of, are you trying to do everything perfectly right now? You know, just let me know if that's something that you have to work on too, like me. And the other reason is when we don't take the time to prioritise the tasks. This is where you're not dealing with the important stuff first. And you're, you have this scattergun approach. You know, you're going off in all different directions. Rather than thinking, what is it actually going to move the needle? What's going to actually move me forward? And you, that's where you have that scattergun approach. And, and, you know, you kind of then have that, you know, it's not just on the surface level, this is on the deeper level as well, where you, you don't know what's important to you. So, you know, you're doing things that are not perhaps in line with your values or your life pur purpose or your vision. Um, and that's where, you, you know, you're kind of just leave, leaving things to chance as you're doing it. Um, Chantal... 
Um, having, having an end goal in mind is paramount. Absolutely, you've got to know where you're going. And then you work backwards and we'll come to us some little tips and techniques and, uh, um, in a moment for that. So Chantal, and often goals need to be broken down into smaller goals or they might bring up more overwhelm. That's abs exactly that, exactly that. So start off with your end in mind and work backwards. You know, and prioritise these things. Always make sure then that you are, you know, it, it is in line with that outcome goal and, you know, and what you actually want to do. Perfection can sometimes be an excuse. It's always an excuse, I'm afraid. I can't do X because Y isn't perfect yet. It's always an excuse, perfectionism. You know, and it's, it's our natural mechanism. It's our natural mechanism to kind of keep us safe and in our comfort zone. But what it does do, like there, it becomes the excuse. So you don't start something because you think it's not ready yet. But you will never, ever be ready. You'll never be ready when you come to, you know, to do anything. Um, another reason that I find um, that can lead to overwhelm is saying yes to too many things. Um, I know you want to help others, you know, uh, I know that, you know, because obviously a lot of my ladies are in business, they run their own business or are in a, you know, a professional career. And I know that you want to help other people. I know that. But if you are completely compelled at all times to say yes to any requests that come your way without kind of questioning whether it is in line with your goals and your outcomes and does it fit if you are a bit of a yes person, then you are leaving little time and energy for your important stuff, you know, and the things in your life that matter to you. And often this can lead to resentment because you then start, you know, you've agreed to something you shouldn't have done, maybe, but then you start feeling resentment that, you know, you ha actually have to drop some of the stuff that you do to fit that in. So it's not great. So just question that. You know, are you a bit of a yes person? I know you do want to help, but ha has it sort of tipped over? Tip that balance over. And the last one of my sort of five reasons, if you like, for overwhelm is, you know, kind of only looking at the big picture. Um, you know, when if something just seems so big and it just seems the list is massive, then, you you know, if you can only see that, you know, the big stuff, then it can just be really overwhelming before you start. Um, and, and, you know, can actually, actually stop us, stop us actually starting in the first place. So just have a think about that one again there, you know, are you also just only focusing on that, the big picture? Okay, so these are, um, let me know, actually, you know, let me know if any of those were things that actually you find yourself doing and could that be your reason at the moment for your overwhelm that you might be feeling? Um, just pop those in the comments there if that's sort of what pops up for you. And if there's one that kind of rings true more than the others, you know, if you find yourself that you're thinking, oh gosh, you know, that's probably my weakness because you tend to do more of that, you know, maybe you are trying to perfect things or, Maybe you are just focusing on the kind of the scattergun approach to your priorities and not are not focusing on the one thing that's going to really make the you know turn the turn the needle for you in your business. So let me know if any of those, um, you know, what what's the most for you? What what rings true for you the most? And now we're gonna we're going to crack on with three ways that you're going to beat this overwhelm for you because I want you to get back to this life of balance and this, you know, having the clarity in where you're going and what you're moving forward towards. Um, so these are some really, really simple tips that I know you can actually start today for it and really get cracking on. And it's really gonna make a difference for you um, in actually kind of reducing this anxiety and stress that you might be feeling because it can feel as if you are on this um, treadmill, or, you know, this hamster wheel of keeping going and going and going and actually not seeing things disappear. So it can be really debilitating, you know, the overwhelm can be really debilitating. So Terry often says yes to too much, yeah, and then do you end up kind of 
you know, feeling that resentment that you've got to do it because you know you can see your diary getting cluttered and you know you've still got so much to do. Uh, you've got different areas of interest and suffer from that shiny penny syndrome, Chantal. Yeah, and I'm afraid, you know, if you're in business and you're an entrepreneur or, you know, it's kind of the one of the downsides of it is that we have a lot of ideas. And the problem, you know, it's one of the areas that I focus on in the Mega Success Mindset Accelerator program. It's where, you know, we're kind of then have this fragmented approach because we get the shiny, shiny object syndrome is what I call it. But exactly that, where you are jumping from one thing to another. Um, and the and the issue with that is that you know you're 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 not focusing on one thing, so you rarely complete something. You might start quite a few things, but you then rarely complete them. Um, and so you're not going to keep you know you're not going to keep moving towards your overall your goal with that. Um, so Terry, yet yeah, you then resent it. It does. It's one of the kind of the things that are linked together with that is, you know, that you, you do actually get that resentment coming up as well. OK, so these are my three tips and I've got them down here to make sure that you've got all, all of the things. If you want to make a note of them, please make a note, a note of them. So the first one is to plan ahead. Plan ahead, whether you're, you know, whether this is about kind of changing your life or, um, or, you know, over the long term, or if it's just something that you want to do right now to make sure that it goes to plan, always plan ahead, get organized, you know, focus but on what you want by the end of that, that, you know, the, the outcome at the end, that period. So what, what Chantal said, you know, and then you work backwards, work backwards from that so that you are detailing all of the steps, um, you know, the goals, the milestones all along the way. You know, so you have your big out one, but then you're going to break it down. You're going to come backwards so that you know what you can actually plan in your diary. And if you can plan your week ahead on a Sunday, um, if, if possible, you know, um, and with many of us working from home right now, we had a guest expert in our group yesterday, um, Alice Dartner, who, who was absolutely fantastic. Um, and she gave us some great tips. And one of the ones that she said with us all working from home right now is to um, have that kind of a plan, prep and pack on a Sunday. Do you know what, when you used to go to work, you used to you know, plan your week and you used to, you know, kind of prep yourself, prep your food for the week, you know, pack all the things that you, you want to, you know, want to do as if you're going to work. So do, you know, I thought it was a great tip to do that on, on a Sunday. Let's just pick up some of the comments coming in there. So Anita, yes, you get overwhelmed when you take on too much, too many things out, or you've forgotten what you've signed up for online. Yeah. So, oh, it doesn't let me see the rest of it. Um, so like online webinars or something and you forget you've actually even done them, signed up for them. Chantal, you're a starter but often not a finisher. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm getting the rest of it now. So what you sign up on, but that looks interesting for personal. So do you, so Anissa, so do you go from one bit to another as well, do you? And Chantal, you're a starter but not often not a fi finisher. It's a typical characteristic, you know, kind of with entrepreneurs. And you have to get into, you know, focusing on one thing at a, at a time. We, again, in the Mega Success Mindset Accelerator, we're going through the clarity and focus modules at the moment. And, you know, overwhelm and kind of having lots of ideas, starting them and not finishing is a characteristic. Yeah, so to Anita, yeah, you've had to really dial down on some of the webinars. Yeah, because sometimes you kind of think it's just an additional thing to add to the list and you're already overwhelmed. So all you're doing is putting that additional pressure on yourself. So you need to take that away. And the way that we do this is number two on my top tips is to prioritise what's important. You know, so question you know, is that webinar contributing to my overall goal? If it isn't, can you let it go? You know, because I know you want to be superwoman. I know you want to do all of these things and you want to increase your knowledge. And a lot of this links to imposter syndrome as well, where we don't feel that we're quite the expert. 
So, um, you know, so you keep on adding things to the pile because you think it's going to increase your knowledge. And the bottom line is actually we almost need to take a step back. You've got to start focusing there on the stuff that's actually going to move you forward in your life and your business. So get rid of some of those non-essentials. Um, you know, question yourself, what don't you need to do? You know, look at that list. So if you've got a few webinars booked in, are they going to move the needle forward in where you want to go? So question yourself, what can you delegate? What can you let go of? You know, just ask yourself that. Can you commit to less? You know, like I said there, you say no to a few things. You don't have to say yes to everything. Um, and, you know, just ask yourself, what do you absolutely need to get done today? And then break those down. Break it down into those smaller chunks. Um, <laughs> so Chantal, you got you were on your work-related webinar when you got the notice that I was on here live, and you ditched the work stuff. But actually, is this really is this important to you now? Because if some if overwhelm is something that you're maybe struggling right now, this has come at exactly the right time because you're going to implement these tips right now. And so it is going to be relevant for you, Chantal, I'm sure. <laughs> um, I'm sure it is. Okay, so you're going to break down these smaller chunks. And what you're going to do, you're going to work on finishing each chunk at a time. So work on, focus on one thing, break it all down to what are all of the tasks that you need to do. So ask yourself, what specifically do you need to do? When do you need to specifically do it by? And break those down into those manageable chunks. Put yourself a deadline on it so that you actually start something and finish something. It's been great in the um, coaching program, this Mega Success Mindset Accelerator that I'm running, because you know one of the one of the tasks that we're working on is starting something and finishing it, and we we'll hold each other accountable. And it's been great to see, see just in that first week how many things are actually suddenly, when you focus on just those one things, the important things, and then finish it, the sense of achievement then is really fantastic. And suddenly that overwhelm starts coming down. Uh, <laughs> so Chantal, forget the delegating. You want a clone, but not sure your husband could handle the two of us. I'm not sure he could too. <laughs> doing that so <laughs> yeah you might have to um give that one a miss i think for the minute chantelle i don't think that's going to work for you <laughs> or your husband um and you know the other thing is which you might find you're doing here is make sure you're not multitasking you know if you have got a few of those things on at the right you know it's impossible to give your full attention to and you know an effort to everything at once you really have got to just focus on that one task you know um, you can even break your tasks down into you know like hour by hour i put them all in my blocks of time in my diary now and it means then that you can actually schedule the times that you may be looking at emails or social media, for instance. So you actually block those out in your diary. And it also then makes sure that you are spending majority of your time there in your zone of genius. So if you've blocked it out in your diary and, you've, and it's all linked to your outcome, your overall goal, you know that when you're crossing that off, you've done it, you've finished it, you've completed it, that it is actually contributing to your, your end goal. And you're actually moving forward. Um, and the other, the other thing, just to, just to mention on that, actually, when you're blocking your time out in your diaries, to make sure that you're also including your self-care and stuff that makes you feel good. So if it's, you know, going for a walk at lunchtime to clear your head, make sure that's blocked in your diary too. Because it's so important that you keep maintaining your own self-care too. Uh, so Terry, sometimes for you, committing to too much is actually an excuse to stop you from doing what you really want to. It's not letting, not, I can't see the rest of it. I'll have to answer that later on, Terry, I can't see the rest of that. Um, so, so, so it's actually becomes an excuse. And 
you know, it's often what we're, what we're saying there is because actually then you're focusing on the unimportant tasks. You know, be, and sometimes it's because of kind of a, you know, a, a, a self-worth thing or that you don't, you know, you don't 100% believe in your ability to do your goal, you know, to actually achieve it. So just question that, question what's behind it. And if you see that there's a pattern following, you know, you need to break the, you know, break, break the pattern. Just drop me a message if you want some help on that as well. Uh, the work stuff is 100% relevant, but it's about changing le legislation coming in in April 21, 20, yeah, oh my goodness, yeah. So you figured out that actually could that, that could wait. And your non-negotiables non are meditation, affirmations and gratitude. Absolutely, get them scheduled in your diary so that they are a part of your day. Otherwise, it's so easy then when we've got so much on our task list, on our, you know, to kind of go, well, I, I'll just bin those. I'll bin those because I've got all of these things to do. When actually they are your priority and they should be in your diary, you know, to do that. Because of, you know, remember, this is about creating the life that you want. So if they're all the things that bring you joy, you need to make sure that they are in your diary and that you actually, you know, you're actually doing those things. Okay, so number three of my top tips is to refocus. Refocus on what's important to you. Decide what and who is important to you um, and how you really want your life to be um, and what you want to have into it. And then create those non-negotiable boundaries around it. Just ask yourself, how do you actually want to live your life on a day-to-day -day basis? You know, so look at the bigger picture of your life. How do you really want to spend your precious time and energy? Because actually, do you really want to live your life in chaos? Do you really want to live it with all of these thoughts constantly racing through your head? So take time to refocus. Because remember, there's always a choice. You've always got a choice whether you want to say yes to something. You've always got a choice about what you put in your diary. And sometimes we can get a bit lost in the feeling of being stressed and overwhelmed that we forget, you know, what we really do want to feel and experience. So reset your energy level, refocus your attention and your intention. You know, come back to the now, come back to where you are right now. Um, when you are, when you've got all of that overwhelm, it's when you're overthinking everything that needs to be done. You've lost yourself there and you're no longer present and in control. So, you know, just take a few deep breaths. Take a deep, few deep breaths and refocus. Ask yourself, how do I want to live my life? Is this how I really want to live my life? And look at the bigger picture of what's important to you. And lastly, just remember that overwhelm is a bit of a message to you. It's actually telling you to slow down. It's actually telling you to question what's really important to you, you know, and, you know, to maybe go on a different course, because actually, clearly this one's, you know, if you're full of overwhelm all the time, maybe that's not the right course for you right now. So you need to do something different. You've got to shift your perspective. So what's the message being sent from you if this is a pattern that you're constantly, re you know, constantly doing? And just finally there, just remember it's okay to ask for help too. You know, sometimes you can't do everything on your own. You really can't. So drop me a note, drop me a DM if you'd like more, you know, like to know more about how I can help you. Um, you know, whether it's on the group coaching program or whether it's one-to-one. -one. It's okay to ask for help and do that. Um, you know, give yourself a break. And lastly, also remember that I've got my brand new Facebook group, Boss Babe on the Rise. So if you haven't joined yet, get yourself over to that because there's a lot more hints and tips and things going in that as we speak right now. So also join the, the Facebook group, Boss Babe on the Rise. And that's it for me today. You know, please, I love, you know, talking and connecting with people. So please drop me a note um, if you want to continue any of these conversations. I love actually kind of um, knowing that you've put these 
plans and these tips into place. So let me know how you've got on with them. You know, which one you found the most useful for you today. Um, so Chantel, you definitely need to change your weekly schedule and include more time for your family and friends. Right now, it's mostly work. Uh, does anybody know how you can actually get all of the message to come up when you're on the Facebook Live? Because it doesn't let you click on see more when you're actually doing it. I have to kind of do it afterwards. Um, so yeah, so Chantal, so do the refocus exercise. Do that refocus and actually think what's really important to you. Remember you're creating this. You know, this is the life you want to lead. So what can you do? Change your schedule and actually fit in your time with your family and your friends. Actually put it in your diary so you, you're actually changing your schedule to deal with it. It's, you know, it's really a good exercise to actually get us to get that clarity and, and you know, get that balance back to, to what we want to do. So I hope you found that useful today. I'd love to know um, how you get on with these tips and whether you know you do manage to bust through that overwhelm for you. Have a wonderful rest of the week and weekend, guys, and I'll see you again next week. Bye for now.